first of all thanks a lot for giving us your special time now tell the viewers that what were your assumptions about from the public schools or boarding schools we expect there must there what is some what is different here from other schools uh, this is what i am going to say that uh, some means main thing is the discipline we we are talking about the boarding schools definitely discipline must be there that the students must be attentive they must be well dressed there must be cleanliness there must be uh, means uh, every student must be given uh, the similar priority there should not be any means uh, special kind of things so i this is what i felt and this was uh, this is the actual reality that uh, i found really positiveness among the students and they are encouraging so there is no any means uh, whatever i assumed or whatever i expected students were up so sir now will you share your your own experience your own academic experience uh, as i presented in my during my presentation i told my background that uh, i did my uh, early education from my own village in thapaka and then i got my bachelor's from uh, college thapaka as well in the meantime i have miss uh, earned so many scholarships and i shared uh, my experience with the students as well that uh, i visited several countries ranging from singapore malaysia turkey the uk usa and uh, these are all based on these scholarships so that's why i already know that these things uh, will definitely boost not only uh, those who are downtrodden or those who are in the background backward uh, kind of uh, schools and i am also part of the uh, study in the government schools so i don't feel that uh, these things uh, will uh, means uh, hinder us from uh, availing any kind of uh, something different okay so were there any challenges in your early education did you face any type of challenges in your early education uh, just people's sayings about the background and societies uh comments especially that what these will do uh, what is the need of uh, educating these uh, poor people they must have they must be doing the labor kind of jobs they must they must not go into that they don't want us to yeah, just to advance yeah, that, this is the is a social dilemma that people consider that those who are in the backward they must remain in the backward this is what the part of the society but after invention of these uh, technologies computer and applications and especially available yes, everything i said my next question yeah. how would you give someone starting out a uh, new starting out at any new field uh, you mean uh, academic field yes academic starting out in any academic field new field actually i uh, i must suggest my students to start watching the movies start from there you learn many things from movies like three years i have been really mentioning so many uh, scenes from three years and teach them that these are the movies which you which will inspire you to do something and uh, whatever yes, area yes, you want yes, to change yes. pick from the movies pick from ideas from the movies and then boost yourself and present yourself and the previous one the 9th 12th film is also so famous uh, actually i haven't watched it because i am i am really fan of three years and the pursuit of happiness these kind of movies are really uh, yes. no one can personally motivate you that much than the movies because they they are really touching movies and they keep you in, uh, in the story and they you become part of that that is what biggest motivation okay sir another question mm -hmm. what is the biggest misconception about going to abroad for education actually uh, you see uh, from pakistan yesterday i was reading some article that whenever you want to leave pakistan or go somewhere don't say some bad things about pakistan if you are yeah. going and representing there again pakistan uh, it's uh, carrying pakistan's flag and whenever india pakistan matches there <coughs> you are again supporting pakistan and thing is that don't say some bad things Uh, mostly the homesickness was the previous case with the people from pakistan when were they go abroad and again they miss their villages miss their relatives parents this was the major um, i think uh, case with the people nowadays the world is means connected together if whatever you want you can get over there for example you are fan of dal dal roti then definitely you can order online and you will dal will reach you in minutes means no time so that's why there is no any problem and there should not be any misconception this is what i feel yeah so so my next question is that what is, what do you believe is the most important skill or most important quality that a student must have in his personality to succeed in his life in his student life 
Uh, you asked two, two questions actually. You asked about the personal and uh, also about the skill. Yeah. Skill. Yeah. skill is the computer. If you know and have good command on computer, then definitely whatever field you will join, you will excel because you will know earlier than the others. For example, if you know well how to utilize computer and use for own, your own, not only for the entertainment purpose, for academic yeah. research, everything, you can get it from there. And this is what the personal skill, and the, from uh, this was the uh, academic or technical skill. And from personal point of view, I feel that uh, hobby is the one of the best uh, thing which one, one should have. Because it will boost your confidence. Whenever you feel down, go there and uh, play, whether you are uh, playing uh, your hobbies to play something, uh, whether you want to read something, watch movies, it will inspire you and you will start from there again. You, it will boost you. So these are the two major skills which every student should need in today's uh, life. Mm. So my next question is that what is the most common mistake? What is the most common mistake that almost all the students, every student make in our country related to social life and academic life? Uh, this was mentioned actually by your uh, Vice Principal Mr. Ranisa that uh, we don't consider that we have got the weaknesses. This is one of the major things. If we yeah. uh, means find out our own mistake, then our weaknesses, then it will be far easier. You see, normally we rely on the other people's comment and we always take it negative. But thing is that once you know that what type of weaknesses you have got, then definitely it will be easier to improve it. First you have to consider, you have to realize that you have got the weakness. Yes. So all the time students don't know, they don't actually yeah, they they get they, How the they can improve? First yes. they must know. This was, as was mentioned by your Vice Principal, principal Mr. Anissa. Vice Principal Anissa. Yeah. So, so means, it means that you are saying that uh, firstly we have to just look at our problems. Firstly we have to just get to the, our weaknesses. Yeah. Then we will improve. Then definitely. If you don't find your problem, don't find your weaknesses, then what solution you will need? What solution yes. you require? Great, great, great. So my next question, we use two terms in our daily life. The first one is schooling and the other one is education. So, would you like to differentiate between them, education and schooling? What is the main difference between them? Actually, so the first like one said that uh, don't confuse schooling with education. I didn't go to Harvard, but those who work for me did. Those who are working in his company actually went to Harvard. So, what would you like to actually, say? Actually, I don't understand these terms. I don't find any difference because I feel that whenever you are in a school, you must have education. If you don't have education, means there was no school and no education. These two things are really interrelated, and they have they have the single meaning. If you are in a school, you must have not only education or to live in the society, to earn in the society, and yes. to survive in the society. So definitely, these are two interrelated, and I don't consider there is any difference between them. So you consider that the there both are the same. Things. Same thing. One thing is there. Yes. It means there is no only different meaning. Okay, sir. Now kindly share your experience at SST. Uh, again, I am really inspired and I feel that uh, my two nephews are ready to get admission here because I like the environment and the way that I was, uh, I seen the students and uh, hopefully the other is, I, I prefer to have a sports facility much, much more than the academy because the sports uh, always makes not only keep you healthy but also let you makes being fit all the time and readily available wake up early in the morning. This is what I have been means, doing uh, throughout my life. I never sleep uh, means, uh, after 7 a.m. in the morning and I always sleep early. So this is I feel that uh, wherever the boarding school or public school will be there, these, these things will be uh, necessary. So, so the most important to, blessing is health. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, sir. It's great meeting with Dr. Gordon Das Arasani. He came to talk about hunting international scholarships we will be coming back for our upcoming videos in future. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned with us for new sessions. Till then, take care.